If you're a medical student planning to leave India to move abroad, this video is for you. Because in this video, I'm gonna cover different countries which you can apply for, benefits and risk of moving to those countries. And after that, what you should be doing right now to move abroad and a lot more. So stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe my channel. So let's start. First of all, the countries that you can look forward to is US, UK, Dubai and Australia. These are the four main countries that we will be talking about. First of all, USMLE is a very well-known USMLE exam, multiple steps and a bit expensive. It costs around 40 to 50 lakh Indian rupees to complete the whole process. It takes around 3.5 years to clear all the steps, get the matching and move to US. Once you move there, the training part is a bit similar to India. Lots of hard work needs to be done, but the money is good. Once you are a consultant, the money is huge. But the only issue is long process, expensive, and most importantly, some students struggle to get matching even after clearing all the exams. So it's a bit of a luck and approach based. Second is UK, the PLAB exams. One of the most easiest exams if we compare with all the countries. And the only issue is in this country, there are no jobs left. I have many juniors who have cleared PLAB and PLAB to have a fabulous CV, but still not getting any jobs. So the job market is quite saturated in UK. So don't even think about it. Third is Dubai. Dubai is a very good option. There is a DHA exam, easy exam you can clear. You can go there and start working at a salary of around 3 lakh Indian rupees. Good job. But the only issue is there is no career progression. You can't train there. You can't do your specialization training in Dubai. You just work as an MBBS doctor. And the second issue is any doctor from the countries like UK, Australia, US can replace you anytime. These two are the major drawbacks of Dubai. And the fourth country is Australia, where I'm working right now. And the process about Australia is there are two exams, AMC1, AMC2. And AMC1 is MCQ exam. And once you clear this exam, you can start applying for jobs, starting from intern, RMO, PHO, different positions. And as you are a medical student, you will be applying for intern positions. The only issue with this job application is Intern positions are quite competitive. There are many positions, but they are very competitive. So you might have to clear both AMC1 and AMC2 to get that position. Some students are lucky enough to get the intern position after AMC1 itself. The whole cost is around 10 to 12 lakh rupees. If we clear everything, like all the exams, paperwork and everything, 10 to 12 lakh Indian rupees. And the whole process will take around one to two years. And if you are a medical student, you can start your preparation now and during your internship, you can clear both the exams and maybe in the next six months, you can move to Australia. And the very good thing about Australia is once you get your general registration in Australia, you can apply straight for training and this is an interview based selection with a 100% selection rate into medicine. And that's the beautiful thing about Australia. Then you can go for advanced training which is again interview based and lots of doctors get into advanced training without any hustle so that's why i'm in australia even after doing md from india i moved to australia because the whole process duration is less and the money wise as an intern you'll be earning around three to four lakh indian rupees per month that's minimum and you can sustain yourself very well so this is the whole process, the major comparison about these countries. Now, when we talk about what you can do right now as a medical student to come to Australia, I'll tell you. First of all, keep your basics very strong. Your communication, improve your communication, how you talk to the patient, be very respectful. You don't have to be rude or something. Work on your communication, your English, and you'll be good. Second thing, do at least two research papers one as first author and one maybe second or third author should shouldn't be a problem if you are doing two research paper during your mbbs you're definitely gonna come here as an intern okay and on top of that if you get time attend any workshops uh, skill improvement workshops any conferences 
ALS BLS course. If you need any help with the research ALS BLS, just contact my team members. They'll help you with that. Apart from that, once you are done with your final year exam and you have done all your homework so far about research and everything during your internship, take the AMC one exam. And by the end of your internship, go for AMC two as well. And as soon as you clear AMC one, start applying for jobs. Don't wait for AMC two because sometimes you get a job even before clearing AMC two exam. And if you get your first job in Australia, doesn't matter which state you are working in, that's the most critical point because once you are into the system, it would be so easy for you to understand it and then start your training soon. And once you get your general registration in Australia after working for one year, you get your general registration and you can apply for your PR. And as you are a medical student, you will be young. Getting a PR would be much easier. You'll be getting your PR in three to six months of applying most likely. Yeah. So this is what you can do. If you need any help with the process or if you have any questions, comment below, contact my team members and we are here to help. But all the very best and make it your proud.